electricity and magnetism. Introduction We cannot imagine life without electricity. We need it at homes, in offices, in industries, in fact, everywhere. But have you ever wondered how does a telephone, an electric bell or a motor work? Such devices work on the principle of magnetic effect produced by electricity. Thus, there is a relation between electricity and magnetism. In this chapter, we will learn about electricity and magnetism. Magnetism The property by virtue of which the attraction occurs or a substance rests in north-south direction by itself is called magnetism. The substances which are attracted by a magnet are called magnetic substances. Example, iron, cobalt, nickel, etc. The substances which are not attracted by any magnet are called non-magnetic substances. Example, aluminium, copper, wood, plastic, etc. Laws of Magnetism the most basic law of magnetism is that like poles repel one another and unlike poles attract each other. This is easily observed when attempting to place two magnets with the same pole together. However, there are also some additional rules for magnetism. All magnetic poles are equal in magnitude, strength and if a magnet is broken into two smaller magnets, each section becomes its own magnet with two poles of equal strength. Moreover, poles always exist in pairs. Test for a magnet by repulsion. The materials that attract iron are called magnets. Most substances are not magnetic. We can use a compass to find out whether a substance is magnetic or not. One end of the compass needle normally points to the north. If a magnetic substance comes close to the needle, it will make the needle turn. Thus, if it is needed to use a compass, it is important to make sure that there is no magnetic metal nearby. Repulsion is a sure test for magnetism. Activity Take a metal bar. Bring one pole north or south of a magnet near the ends of the metal bar one by one. If both ends of the magnet attract, the metal bar is not a magnet. If one end attracts and the other end repels, the metal bar is a magnet. Thus, repulsion is a sure test for a metal bar to be magnet or not. Test for a magnet by repulsion the materials that attract iron are called magnets. Most substances are not magnetic. We can use a compass to find out whether a substance is magnetic or not. One end of the compass needle normally points to the north. If a magnetic substance comes close to the needle, it will make the needle turn. Thus, if it is needed to use a compass, it is important to make sure that there is no magnetic metal nearby. Repulsion is a sure test for magnetism. Activity Take a metal bar. Bring one pole, north or south, of a magnet near the ends of the metal bar one by one. If both ends of the magnet attract, the metal bar is not a magnet. If one end attracts and the other end repels, the metal bar is a magnet. Thus, repulsion is a sure test for a metal bar to be magnet or not. Electric Bell One of the applications of electromagnet is the doorbell or an electric bell. Its components are an electromagnet, an armature, a soft iron bar mounted on a spring, a contact screw, a gong and a hammer. 1. When the switch is pressed, the current starts flowing in U-shaped electromagnet and the electromagnet attracts the armature coil of iron. 2. The movement of the iron 
causes the hammer to hit the gong and the bell rings. 3. After this, the circuit momentarily breaks and current stops flowing. This puts off the magnetic property of electromagnet and the coil returns back to its original position due to spring action of the metallic strip. 4. Armature again touches the screw. The process starts again. Thus, due to making and breaking of current of the electromagnet, the bell rings as long as the key is pressed. Electromagnetism The phenomenon of producing a magnetic field around a wire due to the passage of electricity through it is known as electromagnetism. Electromagnet An electromagnet is a temporary magnet formed by inserting a soft iron bar within the current carrying solenoid. The strength of an electromagnet depends on these factors. A. The number of turns of the wire. B. The amount of current flowing through it. C. The nature of core material. Activity Making an electromagnet Wind the wire tightly and uniformly around the pencil. Connect both ends of the battery to the wire. This electromagnet will be strong to affect a compass needle but too weak to attract anything. Replace pencil with iron nail. Now, you will have an electromagnet strong enough to attract safety pins. Result? The iron nail behaves like an electromagnet. It is called the core of the electromagnet. It will lose its magnetism if the current is turned off. Applications of electromagnets There are many applications of electromagnets in our daily life. They are used in 1. Electric appliances such as electric bell, electric fan, etc. 2. Steel works and scrap yards. 3. Loading furnaces with iron. 4. By doctors to remove foreign bodies like iron filing. 5. In modern trams and train such as maglev train. Electric bell. One of the applications of electromagnet is the doorbell or an electric bell. Its components are an electromagnet, an armature, a soft iron bar mounted on a spring, a contact screw, a gong and a hammer. 1. When the switch is pressed, the current starts flowing in U-shaped electromagnet and the electromagnet attracts the armature coil of iron. 2. The movement of the iron causes the hammer to hit the gong and the bell rings. 3. After this, the circuit momentarily breaks and current stops flowing. This puts off the magnetic property of electromagnet and the coil returns back to its original position due to spring action of the metallic strip. 4. Armature again touches the screw. The process starts again. Thus, due to making and breaking of current of the electromagnet, the bell rings as long as the key is pressed. <laughs>